Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome back to Train Simulator. Now this is my second attempt at filming this, uh, a few minutes ago I was filming, got 10 minutes in, probably a bit less, boom, power cut, lost my progress. <sighs> Very annoying. So anyway, last time I did a Train Simulator video I realised two things, okay. First of all I realised I love narrow gauge, it's just such a fun thing to mess around with I realised. Second thing, I love the Corris Railway, I just really enjoy it, it's a lovely place, great little, well, it's just great fun, great fun. I also realised that I was pronouncing the name uh, of one of the places there, mm, where is it now? Maspeth, Maspeth? I was comp I added a vowel from somewhere where there shouldn't have been one, it was just totally ridiculous, so I apologise again for that. Anyway, as you can see, I literally, I'm not kidding, I have fallen in love with this railway on Train Simulator, I've done loads of the missions, um, except this one, the Maspeth Shunt, which is a high difficulty level. I've also bought some expansions for the Chorus Railway, which include the Chorus No. 5 Shunter and also the Chorus No. 9 Shunter. That's this, it's like a little electric thing. This one's a little diesel. It's quite a complicated little loco because it actually has a clutch which the game simulates and you have to actually control that. So it's difficult. I thought it would be a challenge. I may fail and if that happens then that's fine. But, well, I would say I haven't attempted it, but I've done five minutes of it because of the darn power cut, so we'll see how it goes. But I want to try it, I want to see how easy it is, how difficult it is, and I want to have a go at some shunting. So, we will be assembling a works train ready for this afternoon. First things first, pull forward to clear the points. Okay, so here, I mean, it's, it's such a cool looking shunter, and this amused me as well when I did the tutorial on how to drive it. <laughs> Why has he got a great scar? across his head and why does he look like he's had a, some sort of injection is that not too bad to say anyway so here's the clutch we've got the clutch here uh, which I'll just use with R or sorry control R to pull it up and R to push it down if you pull it up without the throttle all the brakes on I guess it will stall just like a car you've also got some speed controls as well uh, there's high and low so you've got to bear that in mind right so first things first then is going to be to give us some throttle release the brake pull up the clutch and we'll just pull forwards a bit now. Speed limit is 5, so as you can see if I push down the clutch again I will stop accelerating even though the throttle is still up, which is pretty interesting. So that's how that works. This has to be pulled quite a way forward I think before you can operate the points, so we'll do that. And then it's shift G I think it was, ah you see I can remember these things, there we go. Uh, okay we've got to wait here apparently, so while we're doing that I will set the, oh is the clutch not all the way in? Can't change. Oh, I can now. Okay. Give us some throttle so that we're ready. And it, we've got to go backwards to those wagons. So I've just done that part. That's all I did. So we're coupling to 51, 52. We need to get the ballast wagons in the siding. There are two empty tickle, tipper wagons in the way. Couple up to them. All right, then. So it's the same thing again, but just in reverse. So here we go. I'm going to uh, shift R to pull up that clutch. Keep an eye on that speed limit. Actually, when I did this a few minutes ago, I accidentally went a bit fast. So I do have the opportunity to fix the embarrassing error there. So it's not all bad news. Yeah, what happens is when you get on the main line, the speed limit changes to 12. So I thought, great, I'll speed up. Of course, as soon as you get to those sidings back there, it goes back down to five again. Classic schoolboy error on my part, unfortunately. But it's, it's swell, it's fine. Mind you, I can go up to five, surely. So pull that clutch up. Ooh, a bit of a lag. Thought we might have another power cut. All right, all right, all right. Slow down. I don't think it'll penalise me at 5.8, but I do need to slow down. We can take the throttle off. Okay, slow down. I don't want to give the wagons too much of a ramming, but maybe a little bit of momentum won't hurt. I don't know. don't want to find out too much. Okay, look at that. That seems like a bit of control. Good. Now take the wagons out of the way to the siding trap. Where is that? Okay, over there. All right. So this is where the damn um, power cut took over last time. So let's hope that we're okay. All right. Bit of throttle then. Bring that clutch up. Bearing in mind I've got the extra weight now of the wagons, I think. One thing I forget is which control, whether it's R or Shift R, that brings up or pushes down the clutch. And I end up doing the wrong thing sometimes. Uh, and I've been caught speeding a few times because of that. I know that sounds like a really ridiculously poor excuse, but it's true. That is what happened. Right. Okay, points have changed. Oh, I put my head in the shed by accident. 
brakes on, throttle down, reverse of change. There we go, a bit of throttle. Here we go, we can go for it now. I'm going to stay in the first gear, I think, in the low speed, because we ain't going far. Oh my god, does this mean we have to stop on this slope and reverse back up? I think that is what it means. You hear that, Simon? That ain't good news. Right. Well, we'll try it. Maybe this is why it's hard. We've got to do a lot of manoeuvres on that slope. Push that clutch back down. Alright. Come on, we can do this. Just got to watch it on the brakes. Yep. Forwards, forwards. Alright. Have the points changed? Yes, yes they have. Okay, good. Now, go easy now. Just a few miles an hour. Because I remember from the last time, well, obviously I've done quite a few of the scenarios now. This slope, man, this is, is a killer. So let's take it easy. 2.3. If you let it run away with you, it's impossible to stop it. Alright, I've got the brakes fully applied, which means I'm going to struggle, I think, to stop this. No, I'm slowing down, I'm slowing down. How am I going to be able to push this up? Right, shift G. So this is going to be quite the... It's a hill stop, basically, isn't it? Man, all right. Throttle. We are still creeping forwards. So we need to give it a little bit of that clutch. And release the brake. Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm stalled. Clutch down. We're okay, we're okay. We need to stop again, though. Right, I think we're going to need more throttle, folks. Definitely more throttle. Okay. Full throttle. A little bit of clutch. Release the brake. There we are. <laughs> that was fun. It was challenging. Alright. Well, it's actually got some power. I was wondering... I mean, yeah, that steam loco was worse, wasn't it? Mind you, I had more to pull, I suppose. Right now, I'm going to have to watch it because we're going to suddenly speed up once we get up here. Oh no, 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 that's too much. Too soon, rather. Alright, okay, we're there. What am I doing? I'm dropping them off, okay. A bit more throttle then. Come on, throttle. No, don't go back. Oh no. Oh, I've messed it up. Come on. Now, I think if I have actually stalled it, I need to tap Z quickly before we roll down the, the hill. Alright, we're there. Go on, throttle. That's it. I was too proactive in my slowdown, I think. Alright, anywhere there should be fine. Right. Here's this. Make sure that clutch is down. Alright. Uncouple. Alright, and now... We've got to, might as well, two flat bay wagons we need from the shed. Pull forward, okay, from the shed, I know where that is. Okay, there it is. All right. Okay. Forwards. Brakes off. But I have to go easy now, because this is going to go running away from me, I think, if I'm not careful. So just a little bit of speed. Okay, dip that clutch. And we should go off roller coaster style. I do not want to speed particularly. I want to try and avoid that. I, I will speed at some point because I find that I always do, but if I can help it, I will. And I'm conscious of the fact that the brakes aren't the best. Because um, this is ridiculous. I mean, it's 1 in 18. 1 in 18. That is insane. Right. I'm going to switch the points because I notice that they're wrong. Maybe it's little things like that that make this scenario tricky. it as long as we're under five we're okay and the slope ends about where this point is so should be about all right i would have said yeah we'll start bringing the clutch in in a minute oh in fact i think we might just be able to coast too slow let's give it some let's give it a little bit of a hand there all right okay and then so what are we doing? We're coupling to 
Right. Can't really see what's going on, but I've just got to get these coaches. There's nothing else I can do, is there? 20, yeah, that's it. Right. Take this over to carriage shed one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see. Okay. So we've got to somehow get it beyond the... Oh, what the hell was that? Hopefully nothing to worry about. And again, no, oh, come on, let's go, I'm frightened. It's like playing a horror game. Jeez, what was that? And why are the people in the carriage? Should they be there while I'm shunting? I don't think so. Right. Can I change the points on the fly, I wonder? Oh, I can. All right. Oh, but I can't change direction on the fly, so I'm going to have to be sensible and stop. Okay, should be able to just let ourselves go. This is fun, man. Alright, speeding up a bit. Just got to watch that speed limit. Okay, yeah, we got, we're off. And there's the other engine, look, that's the little electric I talked about. Man, that is tiny. It looks ridiculous. I've driven it, I, I took the tutorial anyway. It didn't seem like it was that stupid. Alright, alright. Let's not crash into the bugger. Alright. I mean, it's, the arrow's actually pointing quite a bit further. Maybe I do need to crash into the bugger. Anyway. We'll see if that's, uh, we'll see if that's sufficient for the game. Good. Go back over to Shed Road 1. Go up to the... Ah, yes. The empty wagons. Alright then. Yeah, we can do that. So, reverse... Break off, give us some clutch. Okay. This is alright, this is alright. If I'm capable of completing a hard scenario on Train Simulator, I'll be very impressed, because I didn't think I was. Alright. Switch the point. Bring us to a stop. Don't normally need much throttle here, although we've only got the engine running light, so maybe we will need a bit. Let's have a look. Oh, I literally just have this view. Let's try and do it from in here then. Right, that's enough, I think. I don't want to go too quick. Let's see if we can do this from inside the cab then. should do. Coupled. And stop. Right, take these over to road one, make sure the wagons are in the marker. Alright, where's that? Okay, so it's where we've taken the coach. Should be fine. Alright. Give it a little bit of a spin. Give it some. Oop, throttle. That's it. Heard it. Ah, so realistic, the way it almost stalls. See, I almost got the control wrong there for the clutch. I think we're okay. We might need a bit more on the old clutch if this isn't going to clear the points. Well, no, it should. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Did you see that? That was crazy. Yeah, I didn't think train... Until I played this route, I did not think train simulator was that realistic. Oof. Don't need the, don't need the uh, throttle right now. Almost said regulator. That's force of habit, I'm afraid. It says make sure it's within the arrow. I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. It's going to be only in the entrance to the shed. What? I don't want to go in there. Right. Is that going to be further in enough? Excellent, yeah, apparently. Right, the two flatbed wagons. Oh, there's more. Oh, my God. This is... I apologise if this is getting a bit repetitive now. <laughs> right, hopefully this is the last. There's nothing else we can do with this, I don't think, is there? Right. Oh, God. No. I'm speeding. No. It's all right. <laughs> I lost six points. I'll, I think I'll take that. That's not too bad. Right. 
lost control, lost lost concentration for a second there. Right, here we go. Don't keep it together, Sam. Keep it together. All right. Oh my God. No fair. I want to fly. Yeah, that is. I've noticed that happens quite a bit on this route. <laughs> Happened last video, I think. It's just like phantoms walking around. And uh, the other thing I've noticed from playing the other scenarios is that they just march onto the track, whether or not you're approaching in a train. I mean, if you want to die at the Chorus Railway, be my guest. But it doesn't seem like the kind of place you want to cause deaths. Well, what do I know? This is going to be about the gentlest coupling of the day. Right, take these two wagons over to the south platform now so we can begin to assemble the works train. South platform, which one? North or south? Doesn't really matter, I don't think, at this point. Obviously, it does matter where I leave them. Right. I love how I've just stopped, stopped caring about the throttle and just leave it on now. Right. So we are going right up the hill, so we're gonna want to we're gonna want to make that speed count. Although as we've seen, there's actually plenty of power here. Just dip the throttle for now. Given us max sorry, dip the clutch, I've given us maximum throttle just to help with this slope. No, although it doesn't seem to be too much necessary. Come on, can't grind to a hole. Right, we're stuck at 3.3, but we seem to... Ooh, maybe I didn't give us enough of a run up there. And also, I need to change the damn point. <laughs> that, was, that was very, very dodgy. We are on full pelt. We've given it all the engines got to get up this 1 in 18 gradient, which is insane. Right. Watch that clutch now. Cut the throttle a bit. Are we going to grind to a halt? Possibly. Keep going a bit. These points change on their own. Maybe there's a signal box somewhere that I haven't seen. Alright. Stop. And there's also a big drop behind us here. If you go up much further than that, that's another thing you can fall down. Not that I've ever done that. Oh, perish that thought. Okay. So we're going to the south platform, all right. And it's now 12 miles an hour. So let's give it some. Only in first gear, of course. I don't want to do anything silly. Not me at all. All right, south platform is the nearest of them. So that, I mean, we're talking that's about the top speed for the first gear, literally. About seven miles an hour. I think that's about what I've got in the past. She's about right for something. It means you can't run away with you if you lose concentration. Pretty good for a certain somebody. Okay. There we go. Alright. Anywhere here, driver? Should be fine. Up to a gentle halt. Clutch is in right. Yeah. Alright, and what am I doing? Oh, I have to drop them off. Okay. Now for the ballast wagons. Wagons? Wagons. Reverse back to the plan. That must be those. The arrow's not quite <laughs> lined up. I'm not really sure which it means. Oh no, we've got to stop at the shunt first. Okay, it's just being helpful. It's just being helpful. Alright. There we go. Oh, camera. There we go. A bit faster, a bit faster, 7.5 in reverse without the load. I see what we've got to do, so it is probably these, isn't it? These three. Yeah, they did say that it was those earlier on. Okay, well, we can stop a bit sooner, really. <laughs> Seem to be giving the points a lot of clearance, but I'll go as far as the marker just to be safe. Oh, 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 clutch, clutch, clutch. Tapping Z to restart. We've got just about saved it before it stopped dead. Right, what, what's happening? What is the delay? Right, pull forward to the down loop. 
Wait for the points to change. Yeah, yeah, I, I got you. Okay. A little bit of a clutch on there. I think the limit should still, still be 12, so I don't have to worry too much, I don't think. Make sure I'm still in the shot here. I'm losing all. My entire being is focused on getting this little shunter to do its job. Okay. Right. Come on, that's got to be far enough. Points are going to change, are they? Yeah, they've changed. But we've got to wait here, otherwise I'll get an operator error, I think. Change. Let me go. There we go. Ballast wagons, that was it. And that was the name I forgot. Okay. So we're in reverse already. Oh, I must say. Very organised of me. Right. Here we go. Got to go easy. Let's dip that clutch in back. It is five. What's the limit? Alright. Slow it down, slow it down. Right, that's. I don't mind crashing into them at that speed. I haven't got a vulnerable back or anything, so it should be alright. Okay. <laughs> right, good. Good pull forward into the north platform. Then reverse back and couple up to the. Alright, what? We need to go. It's actually hurting my head. Blummin' heck. Oh, that's the... It's clashing with the buffers, I think. Man. Right. Okay, so we're going to run all the way around and get those on the back. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Literally just rocking the clutch right here until we're onto the main line. Should be 12 now. Yeah. Alright, go for it. Alright, that's fast enough. Getting trees in my face here. Ah. I love that the other engines are all here. I can see the other one in that shed. I didn't spot that earlier, I don't think. Hmm. Right. What a great place for shunting. I wonder if they do actual shunting events here. I mean, that would be something worth seeing, wouldn't it? I love how you can just hear the the RPM of the engine drop as you put the clutch in. It's great. Or put the clutch out, I suppose. I'm not a mechanic, really, or at least not with real trains. Alright, alright. Easy. That's it. Now, this is quite a sizeable train now. Put the brakes on. Right. Pull forward to the north platform we could take a break. Oh, how nice. From the stress of it all, you mean? I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. This, can't, this is relatively stressful. Oh, and this is it. This is it. This means I'll have done it. And I think I only sped once, if I'm not wrong. That's not bad. I mean, it is bad. I mean, I'm sure most people could do this very, very easily. But for me, this ain't too bad if you've seen my previous train simulator videos. All right. Okay. Stop. Ah, some momentum there. Okay. We're there. Doesn't have a horn, this. Oh, it does. What is that? It sounds like a whistle. <laughs> so this is literally the most pathetic sound I think I've ever heard. Right. Come on, tell me, tell me how good that was. Please. Excellent work. Scenario complete. That was all right. That was. You see what I mean? That's just fun, right? Oh, so yeah, there was just uh, one incident of speeding at, at 13 minutes past nine, and therefore I got 994 out of a thousand. That's not bad at all. Right, folks. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was pretty cool. There are some more chorus scenarios, so do comment down below if you'd like to see more. For now, though, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, cheers, folks.